The reason I chose FeezU was because I wanted to just do something different. I needed a little change and I felt like I wanted something that would give me a little bit of growth. I was very interested in IDHQ's island programs. This one seemed really well organized and I really liked the social aspect of it. It was my first time abroad and so I thought why not go halfway across the world. Basically because I'm really into rugby and Fiji, it's almost like a religion to them, so I thought it'd be cool just to come along and try and get involved. The project that I'm involved with is construction, and right now we're helping a lot of the families out here because there was a cyclone that came and it destroyed a lot of the houses. Previously to this, we were in Suva and we helped build a kindergarten, so that was really eye-opening and it definitely was a great experience to go through. The people live here, it's nice to see her faces when they have a new roof or a new house and how happy they are. I'm in the kindergarten project. It's in the morning for about three hours. We go in, we help in the classroom, we sing songs, we dance, and then I have about 30 minutes each day to do a lesson of my own. We're given a topic for the week. It involves a lot of singing, playing with the kids, just kind of helping them with the simple basic learning. The project I'm working on is sport teaching and in the mornings we spend our time in the classes helping the teacher out or doing our own lesson plans and in the afternoon we take a year group out and we go and play some sport with them. We usually play soccer, a bit of rugby, uh, kickball, all sorts. They're quite a rowdy bunch but it's been a life-changing experience. It's been really, been really good. The accommodations have been great. There's about four or five houses that they have and there's about 30 people in each house. Everything's pretty comfortable. We have a TV, we get to watch movies and hang out, an outdoor area. The accommodation's got lots of space, loads of areas to chill out. We're given breakfast, lunch and dinner and we all eat together and socialize. It's been really awesome. It's a lot of local food and a lot of traditional dishes. It's always new. It's much healthier than what I've been eating while I've been traveling, so yeah, it's really very delicious. In my spare time here, I actually like to stare at the sky and just look at the stars or go down to the beach and just sit by the ocean. I like to also talk to a lot of the Fijians out here, learn more about their culture, talk to the other volunteers because a lot of people come from all around the world and it's great to learn about other cultures and people as well. We all hang out outside, we play cards, get some snacks, a lot of ice cream and really just have gotten to know each other, all the people in the program, it's really awesome. We go to Suva a lot, go to the shops, do a little shopping, some people went to a museum. I'll probably miss the weather the most and also the laid back attitude. Here, everyone just loves each other and it's just like a community bond. I love that and I think I'm going to miss that the most about being here. Everybody shares with everybody and they all smile and that's after the cyclone. The most of them have no houses here and they smile the whole day. I think that's the beauty of this is that I've gotten to meet people from all around the world and I know that this won't be the last time I'm going to see them. I don't think I've ever met a group of people from a country who are so naturally friendly and generous with everything. Everybody bonds so well. You're all in the same boat. You think I like you're all here for the same reason. Everybody gets really close and that's what I'm going to miss the most. Take in as much as you can because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to go and travel the world and help other people out. So if you can just learn everything you can, soak it all in and just take your time with it. That's the best advice I could give anyone. You can't describe how it is here. And it's such a beautiful country and absolute friendly people. I'm already dreading leaving next week, so definitely plan out time for your weekends and travel more and just get to explore the country. Talk to everybody you meet because you'll learn a lot about yourself and other people. You can learn a lot about people in such a short amount of time. The program is incredibly well run and I think I definitely recommend anyone who wants to travel and get out of their comfort zone to come to Fiji. I just can't wait to go back and share all my memories with everyone and just talk about it for the rest of my life. It's something that I'll definitely will never forget. It's been a great experience. I've loved every second of it. It's a wonderful country and the atmosphere is just incredible here. For me it was one of my best decisions I ever made. So come here and see it with your own eyes.